Hello everybody! This is Stash's Maximus El Kiko Supremo with extra cheese, fuzzy pickles, Mr. Kapow! And we are going to be continuing in on our game of Glitched the Demo, so let's jump right in! Snoozing. Sleep, 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 sleep. Exclamation point! We wake up! Ugh! Where am I? My room. Oh, wait! Conrad! What's happening? Hey, calm down there, dude. Calm now. Settle down now. Settle down now. What? Oh, Kapow! You're, you're still here. Thanks for all the help back there. I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. It doesn't make any sense. I don't even know what happened to Conrad. Oh, right! Conrad! We have to go find him! Come on! Explanation point! Gus, you should be in bed. Mayor Eileen, what are you doing here? I found you unconscious on the path near your house. Mr. Salami had to carry you inside. Gus, I just returned from Sartre Hill? There's some kind of monster or something. Do you remember what happened up there? Did it attack you? Well, I was up on Sartre Hill. I was talking to Conrad about leaving when... Wait, Conrad, tell me. Tell me that you found him. Find who? You were alone, Gus. I'm afraid I don't know who you are talking about. Of course you do. Conrad has lived here for years. Oh no, you must have taken quite the spill. Nobody named Conrad lives here. Dot, dot, dot. Whatever that thing is, it attacked him. Come on, Eileen. You have to remember him. You poor thing. The stress must be too much for you. You need to rest up. The town must act before others are hurt. I, I can't rest. What the? Gus, please rest for a bit now. I will plan a town meeting to plan our course of action. Meet us there when you're when you feel ready. We'll we'll discuss more then. I know you're shaking up, but I'm happy that you're safe and sound. Dot dot dot. She doesn't remember him? Kapow? Were you there when this happened? Do you remember Conrad? I know he existed. <sighs> Whatever that thing was, it must have done something wrong, something to him. Something to him. Kapow, will you help me find him? I know we just met and things are confusing, but... I don't have anyone else to turn to. Please, help me. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi. You're my only hope. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll help you. Thank you. I know it's a lot to ask, but there's a chance he's out there. We have to try and find him. Maybe you can find some kind of clue at Conrad's house. Let's head there after the town meeting. Oh, oh right, my hat. Much better. Hey, really though, thank you for helping. I don't know how I'd do this without you. Let's get to the town meeting. Alright, let's boogie. Psst! Lenny! What'd I miss? Oh, Gus. They just been arguing for a while now. Everybody? We need to make calm. Everyone will have their voice heard. Good. Let's go around again with uh, suggestions, but please speak one at a time. Elden dear, you can begin for us. Whatever that monster is, 
That fact is irrelevant for now. We must put an end to it before it attacks another one of our own. Things are ever-changing. It could be that this being is here to stay. Perhaps we must learn to coexist with whatever it may be. Rushing to violence may not be the answer. Well, let's, uh, let's not jump to conclusions. A strange anomaly has appeared and our course of action should be taken with extreme caution. Look, I don't really know one way or the other. Is it really our job to deal with this? I don't want to get involved with the, that thing. It's, it's scary, for real. Maybe we like call an expert from Gundam or something? No, no, not really my thing to deal with. Listen, we all know business here has been real drag lately. When's the last time we had a visitor? That thing in the sky seems real interesting. Seems interesting enough to me at least. We can use it to attract all kinds of people to our little town. We'll be all better we'll all be better off. Hey, you wanna know what I think? It don't matter much to me. Gus fell running away from it, but it ain't hurt nobody or do no nothing else. As long as it ain't bother us not more, we don't need that. We don't need to change nothing around here. You know, we have different opinions on the matter, but oh, Gus, you were the one that was attacked by that thing. Please help us out here. You've heard all the different arguments. What do you think should be done? Hey, Kapow, are you hearing all this? It all sounds absolutely crazy. None of them even remember Conrad. I have no idea what should be done. Am I even in a right state of mind to be answering something like this? Well, um... What do you think about this whole mess? What do you think the town should do? Uh, let's see, make peace with it. We could try to destroy things. I don't know to do with it. I don't know we can. It's not our way to ignore it. A new tourist site could help the town make peace with it. You know what? Someone else probably knows how to deal with it. Guess you're right. It's not like any of us are qualified to deal with this. Slick's, Slick Rick is right. It's not like any of us know. What's going on? Yeah, that stuff's crazy! I would agree as well, someone in Gundam might be better suited to deal with this. Before we formulate a plan, there's something we must do. As mayor of this town, it is my duty to inform Gundam what has happened here. With that said, I need someone to travel to the city. The president must know what's happened. Is there anyone up to the task? I ain't leaving town. I have research to attend to. The diner won't run a self so the diner won't run a shelf ah. The diner won't run a self should. Yeah, I'm not really feeling that. Kapow, this is going to sound crazy coming from me, but I think I should be the one to go to G Gundam. Before Conrad disappeared, I remember him telling me something about leaving Betwix. All the stuff he said about this town and what was going on, maybe he was right? There must be something out there to explain all this. We might be able to find out 
what's happened to him in the process. Leaving Betwix, my home? Is this really the right thing to do? Should I go to Gundon? Yeah, sure. Of course. Right. Together, we could figure out what happened. I'll do it. I'll, uh, go to Gundon, I guess. Gus, you seem more enthusiastic than usual. Are you sure? I'm sure. Besides, I don't think any el anyone else wants to go. If you are certain about this and nobody else wants to, then I suppose it's settled. You'll need to leave as soon as possible. This message is of the utmost importance. When you're ready, come speak to me in the town square. Oh, and take this as well. You obtained 500 bits. Whoa! Don't spend all those bits in one place. This town has a fun for these kinds of things kinds of emergencies. We can't just send you off into the world without any help. Yeah. That's a that's a weird thing to kind of prepare for. What kind of town would do that? Thank you for all your input. Oh! Make sure you all see Gus off. The town meeting is now adjourned. 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 Yeah, it's done. Hey, Kapow. Thanks for sticking with me. So much has changed. It's strange watching things go by so fast. Anyway, we should stop by my house before we leave. There's some things I want to... Gus's essence switches to... Drift. Gus can now use cunning conversation skills during conflicts, but forgets all other conversation skills. Why are you looking at me like that? Um, anyway. Oh. How's it hopping, hotshot? Excuse me, are you talking to me? Right. You got paired with this loser instead of that beefy chin guy. Talk about trouble. If you ask me, Frog King could really up the quality of their hero selection. But where's my manners? I've yet to introduce myself. Hey, hey, what do you I'm Kogo. I heard all about the commotion happening over here. I build and uh, I, I bailed and came to see it for myself. What are you? That thing on the hill, as far as I can tell, is the tell the ah, as far as I can tell, the world is basically ending. No point in working when the world's about to end. You feel me? Anyway, I have I got a deal for you. It's a limited edition mud that I swipe. Uh, probably, uh, never mind that. This fancy gadget comes fully equipped with the best apps for anyone adventuring in sort. Uh, it could be yours for a low price of 500 bits. What do you say, boss? I, I, I guess I'll take it. <laughs> Here you go, sucker. Oh, I, I mean, it's been a pleasure doing business with you. 500 bits down a drain, but you obtain a mud. What's going on? You'll be real happy with your new mud. What's next for me? <laughs> I don't really know. I'm gonna hop around for a while and find myself a new gig. I heard the toad was having an end of the world party in Gundon. I'm gonna hit that up. I can do for a little party. <laughs> well, enjoy your new advice, and I am out of here. See ya. Bye. I almost forgot. I have some cards for uh, your guy here. I could have kept them, but I want to stay on your good side. Just remember that, okay? Here you go. Gus changes his class to medic. New cards have been added to the fate menu in the mud. Question mark. Uh, you knew that guy? Uh, I guess we could talk about it later. Anyway, let's get going. Adventure awaits! Oh, right. Before we leave, let's stop by my house to pick up some things. It's a greenhouse in the northern part of Betwix. You can't miss it.
Gus wants to talk. When Gus has something more to say, press E or select on the controller to speak with him. Or not. Nobody's forcing you. Okay. You can also talk to him through the mud. Power on by pressing R or start on the controller. Your game has been saved. All right. Okay. Oh, this is the mud. Oh, okay, it's like the interface like menu. All right. Talk. Hey, Kapow. Sorry, I just been thinking about all this, you know, leaving Bitwix and everything. It's not something I thought I would be doing. I'm not really the traveling type. I mean, this is my hometown. Leaving everyone I've ever known, even if I'll be back, it's a bit daunting. What about you? You had to have left your home to come here, right? Do you travel a lot, or is this your first journey out? I travel, I travel all the time, yeah, yeah, you know, for conventions and stuff. Oh, I guess you've gotten used to picking up and leaving then. Might not seem like a big deal, but, uh, I guess I'm just struggling with it. So, sorry, I, I, I know we just met and all. My mind was just wandering a bit. We should get going. Okay. An stone looks like a relic or something. Hey, Kapow, what do you think of this thing? The symbol is worn out. I can't even tell what it's supposed to be. Okay, closer. It looks like there's some kind of writing below the symbol. I think it's in a different language. I, I can't make out any of it. I remember someone telling me something about it a while ago. Um, we should just get going. Quack! Birdo! I guess we talked to her when I leave, but until then, let's uh, just wander around. Let's wander around a bit. Ah, Gus! I knew you'd be uh, stopping by. Let's, uh, let's have her tell my fortune. Yes, I sense and otherworldly forces around you. Let's hurry then, since you must be in a rush to leave. Remain still while I focus on your spirit, the true nature of your soul. It will re reveal itself before my true sight. I have peered into your very being. You are a go with the flow kind of person. Never mind getting caught on the little things. You'll see many faces and share even more stories. You tend to be a difficult person to keep track of. But watch yourself. A tree with no roots doesn't stand still for long. As for the path ahead, it looks quite different than any fortune I've ever read. It's winding, straight, converging, and diverging. There are many, many ways to the end for you. I wonder then what will you choose? What kind of path will you follow? Well, that's all I can see today. When you return from London, I'll like to hear about that path you took. Okay. Right. Hey! What you need? That's just the person I was looking for. Listen. I'm a little preoccupied right now, and I uh, can use a hand. You don't look that busy. Besides, I really should be getting going. I could uh, use some help getting a package delivered to Norma. I've got a stash away in the old house, that uh, red one across the bridge, you know. What do you say? I could uh, offer a few bits and uh, maybe a little reward as well. Yeah, I guess I'll do it. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, I had the package hidden inside a toilet of the old house. Weird, I know. So, take this old key and uh, bring the package to Norma. Got it? Contain the rusty Bitwix key. Package to Norma? Got it? Right. Let's go uh, check what's out here. Oh, Gus wants to talk. Okay. Hey! What's up? Thought, thought, thought. You kind of like to be prompted before you talk. I 
get it. So, how about that thing on Sartell Hill? It freaks me out just thinking about it. You travel around a lot. Have you ever th seen anything like it? No? <laughs> I know I'm scared. I'm still trying to grasp what happened to Conrad. I don't know if I'm ready. Sorry. Um, I know I'm getting all emotional again. I can't really think of the last time I felt like this. I used to never get scared. I mean, the closet door is a bit freaky at night, but this is a whole different kind of fear. You're handling it well. How you doing it? Well, gotta face it head down, buddy. Do what you gotta do. Really? You just go straight into it, even though it could be real danger? Hey, gotta do what you gotta do, buddy. I guess you're right. This is the only way forward, so I need to embrace it. Thanks. Talking about it makes me feel a bit better. Quack, quack, quack. Had it. Did you need something? Something got through the fences around my farm. It ain't all the Bebo feed. Oh no, how will they survive? Um, I mean, I obviously would just go, you know, buy something more like that at a store or whatever, but that isn't the point. Renovate the feed may return, so... I to stay vigilant. I... So I, to stay vigilant, it's weird, until it reveals itself. Well, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Quack, quack. Okay. Oh, there's a buggo. Bug there, I see her. Wait, yep. Way to go around there. It's a bug named Jeff. The pain. I think I see the end. You're a pretty big bug. What happened is everything all right? Hey, you. Come closer. Hear my tail. I thought I was being sneaky. I saw all that grub just laying out in the open. Zipped over the fence and having a feast. So it was you who ate all the Bebo feed. Sure, whatever, bud. I just let my stomach take over for a bit. I like, like, I really lost control there. Turns out that was a bad decision. I mean, so much I'm literally dying. What? No, you gotta pull through. How can I help? Hey, watch down, will you? Just uh, come close, keep me company for a bit. I'm here. My name's Jeff. What should I call you? My name's Gus. Uh, sure thing, bub. You know, you kind of remind me of someone I met uh, not too long ago. We both got the same kind of spunk. Uh, thanks? You had an amazing jawline that could pierce the heavens. You should have seen it. Wait, are you talking about Conrad? Well, this is the end for me. I should have never crossed that bridge. It just appeared one day. Oh well. Out of all the days I ever lived, this was one of them. It's happening now. It's time. I had, I had someone back home. The most handsome bug of all. Got in a fight, so I packed up and left. Do you think I'll ever see them again? Do you believe in that kind of stuff? Me? I guess I'll find out in a few for now. It's time to go. The people you love, even when it's hard, never let them go. Oh, and uh, brush your teeth in the morning and at night. No excuses. I'll be watching. Maybe. Who knows? Well, see ya. The last part was kind of weird. Kind of weird. Peace, Jeff. Rest in peace. Wrong way. Oh, wrong way. Ha! 
got it. Need something? Oh, problem solved. We got rid of it. Did I kill it? What was it? I'd rather not talk about it, but it won't be bothering you anymore. Well, if you say so, Gus. Thanks for the help. Here, take this. You obtained five bits and two blue gummy berries. Yay, gummy berries. I have no idea what the hell they are. They're berries. And we got two of them. This is the thing that took him. What? What is it? Gus wants to talk. Okay. You know, we don't really know each other that well. I'm happy that you're tagging along, but it's just kind of weird. It's just, you've helped me out so much already, and I still don't know much more than your name. So, uh, what are, um, I mean, what's your uh, favorite color? Ooh, green. Yeah, green. Oh, that's, uh, really, really, um, cool. Maybe we should get going. Oh, jeez. Well, you're the one who asked. I wanted to know my favorite color. It's green. Color your house. Oh, Gus. Jimmy has been blocking your door for a while now. He got mad about something this morning. I can't get him to move, so maybe you could try. I know you probably have to get inside. He's probably worked up about something, so uh, get ready for a conflict. A conflict? Is he really that mad? Try to imagine what might calm him down. I don't think you'll have to fight him. Go over and talk to him. I'll try to help out as well. Sorry about this. He is normally a very good slime. It's alright, I guess. Go and talk to Jimmy. I'll be right behind you. Oh, and please don't squish him or anything like that. Conflict! Jimmy! You are being a bad slime. Let Gus through now. Plop! Well, that just made him more mad. One more mistake and it looks like a fake game is in your future. Let me try cheering him up. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah. It's a little less tense now. He always likes that. I don't know why. You can handle the rest now. Uh, hey there? What? What? Um, blub? What? Blub? What? Blub? Blub? Resolved! There are no answers to brown and violence. You have taught me this lesson, my new human friend. I have learned that our... Conflicts, however dire, can be resolved in other ways. But perhaps that day will come where you will have to stand up and defend your beliefs. What? I mean, uh, blub? Are you going to behave now? Thanks for the help. You seem to have calmed down. Well, me and uh, Jimmy will be hanging out near Eileen's house. We need to practice fate before leaving. Not for sure Jimmy would force you into a fight. He has been grumpy lately. Slimes are strange creatures, aren't they? I like them a lot. Okay. Dot. Um, hmm, what should I bring with me? I've never really thought about that before. Leaving Beatrix before. Hey, Kapal, give me a few, okay? Feel free to make yourself at home while I pack up. Okay, I'll grab myself a beer, I guess. Alright, I think I'm ready to go. You obtained 50 bits and two Bebo Sporin. Even yesterday, I couldn't something like this happening. Conrad, he kept urging me to leave Beatrix. Well, maybe if we had left before this? I don't know, I... 
I'm not even sure what happened. Saw him disappear right in front of me. How do I know he's not gone? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to feel? Was Conrad... Was Conrad really onto something? I wish I could ask him. He already had a plan figured out. Whatever that plan is, uh... Whatever that thing is on Satyr Hill, we have to figure it out. If there is something in Gundon who can help us, maybe it really is our best bet? Dot dot dot. Kapow! You... you... don't know anything about all this, do you? Um... Your guess is as good as mine, dude. I guess we're in this together, then. Things have felt wrong since the last night. We have to get to the bottom of it. Lucky for me, you showed up at the perfect time to help. Yeah, uh, perfect. Yeah. A bit strange, though. Anyway, we should be get going. We should take a look around town once more for anything that might help us. Okay. Check out this house. What do you need? Uh, greetings, Gus. It seems like you have recovered quite well from your fall. Nothing but a few scratches. I am glad to hear you are well. Feel free to peruse my collection before you leave. Perhaps you'll find some useful information in one of these old books. I do love a good story. Maybe I'll take a peek. Maybe one of these books has something that can help us. Let's do a bit of reading. Afterwards, we should ask Harrison about some of the stuff. He might be able to give us a little guidance. Alright. So, this is a magazine titled Big Day's Fate Manual Issue 2. Read it. Sure. Carberti, refreshing. Push my god, ink. Okay, it just pretty much tells you what it does. Don't think I'm going to read the whole thing. If you want, you just pause the video during these books and read and yeah. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Let's see uh Flora's Diary 976. Read it. Okay. Okay. It's a book titled Do It Yourself Slime Kit. Read it? Sure. This book is titled The Bebos of Soren. Read it? Oh, it's a book by Harrison. Harrison McAuto. K. This book is titled George Salami's Sandwich and Salami Cookbook. Read it? Sure. See, uh, good people who haven't eaten at a restaurant. Okay. That was a... Yeah, okay. It's like a recipe book. I'm always down for a good salami sandwich. Ooh, that prime cut sandwich. Sounds good. Honestly, if you order this, then I do not care about you at all. If there's no meat in it, then why should I call my store George Salami Salami and Meat Emporium? If I must serve this, I should just rename my shop to Disgrace because that is what this sandwich is. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. This fish swears to you that it comes in peace. This book is titled Emotion Embodiments. Read it. Okay. There's a book on this desk. You shouldn't mess with it. Okay. Let's talk to Harrison. Hmm. What do you need? Ah. 
It appears that you have a curious mind. Upstairs on my desk is a book entitled The People of Betrix. Come back to me once you've read through it. Okay. It's a book on a desk titled The People of Betrix. Read it? Sure. Oh, it's like a little thing, a little profile of each person in town. Oh, there's me. I mean, there's Gus. Oh, that's... That's... Conrad, I guess. George Salami. You know what? He looks like, um, Carl from, uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Saying. Just saying. What? Did you need? You read it through then. I will assume you saw that mess on page 6. I can assure you it was not my doing. I keep my collection in pristine co condition. Not to mention that I have yet to show that book to anyone. Someone must have tampered with the records. That page? Hmm. Did you notice something strange about it? Oh, um, just weird someone would do that. It gets stranger. I was working on that book until that book the night before that thing attacked you on Sartre Hill. That's incredibly particular as an ancient I, 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 scholar once said. Coincidence is the call to arms for observation. I believe something is happening in our town of Betrix. Something possibly beyond my current comprehension. Could you use some help collecting antidotical data from the people in town? When it comes to social situations, I am a bit of fish out of water so to speak. The mystery is too tempting for me. Of course. The mystery is too tempting for me. Of course I'll help. Spectacular. Go to every residence and ask them about this. Anything strange or particular happening around town. Perhaps one of the knows. Something that could give us a lead. Okay. Side quest. Let's, uh, let's start here. Start with Slick Rick. Hey, Rick! Rick go! Hey! What you need? Spell. Uh, yeah, I, I never heard. I've never been one to stay in one place. Can't seem to, to get a move on from this town. It seems strange, but uh, something about Bitrix just does that to people. Hey, Bolvina, have you ever noticed anything odd about Betrix? Hmm, there's something about the trees. Betrix has some of the strangest trees I've ever seen. I swear, one or two of them have even tried talking to me. Talking trees, come on, Bolvina. Everyone knows trees don't talk. You're right. Maybe I'm just being silly. at a different pace than the rest of the world. It, sound, it clouds my vision, that's for sure. Okay. Oh, Gus. I know it's easy to get wrapped up in things here, but you should get ready to leave. Come back to me after, and we'll all see you off. Hey, Elden, can you tell me 
me more about the relic in the town square? You're curious about that. I spoke to Harrison about it once some time ago. The old civilization that was once spread across these lands was obsessed with gaining knowledge. It could be that the relic is was a rem remnant of that. Just a theory. Maybe Harrison or Norma could tell you more about it. Far too much information between the bra between the brains of those two. You'll have time to worry about it later. Agus! I cannot say anything for sure. Bitwix was always put has always put a spell on people. Rarely do people leave this quiet part of Soren. Perhaps it's the air. Crisp and calm. Okay. RD chapter. Read it. The day they disappeared. Let's book on it. Don't mess with it. Okay. Guess we won't mess with it. Oh, Gus. What do you need? What? Oh, um. That red house past the creaky bridge, you know the one. I don't like going near it. It freaks me out. Heard someone or something. Rustling inside of it. It's late at night. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay. Yo, salami man! Eh? What do you need, kid? What? Huh? Well, nothing's ever changed around here. Some folks might find it strange or off putting, but it's just the way I like things. Okay. Hiya, Gus. What do you need before you go? Oh, Gus, thanks for stopping by. Make something for your journey. Here you go. You obtained a burger! Make sure you eat enough while you're gone. And, uh, be safe. Okay. Let's talk! Things do you want to know more about? Bomiva keeps those beavers well fed. Your feathers are worth quite a bit. You'll have to wait for them to fall off though. The healing properties of the feathers are fully developed till then. There's some quite quiet fields right outside town. North of Covewood, but probably want to find a path around those woods. Beyond the fields is Douglas Village. You should be able to find some directions from there. Okay. What? Uh, that's about the town road. Who? Oh, that rock in the town square? I talked to Harris about it quite a bit. People that were here before us, they isn't, there isn't much left of what they built. An entire civilization lost to the ages. I daydream about it sometimes, about that faded, what that faded Symbol could be. Full mystery, that's for sure. Okay, uh... Let's talk. Slick Rick. No, I don't really know what's up with him. Hard to keep up with, you know? Wait. The city's gigantic. Bet all kinds of people live there. You'll get lost pretty easily. Finding someone to help you around might be a good start. Shouldn't you be leaving soon? Oh, 
it's you. It has been terrible for a while, but that's the only strange things about it. Nobody comes down here though. It's like ghost town. Remind me that uh what the outside world's like when you get back. Wait. Talk. Hey Gus! Glad I finally caught ya. Take this before you go. You obtained 50 bits. Consider it a uh, reimbursement for all those gigs I never paid you for. <laughs> Don't get lost in Gundam, alright? Okay. Oh yeah, we need to get the package into that red house. There it is. I, yeah, oh yeah, that's the, that, that's supposed to be, uh, what is it, uh, Conrad's house. The rusty Bitwix key opens the door. Gus wants to talk. Okay. I was just thinking about everyone in Bitrix. It's gonna be weird being away from them, you know? I don't really know anyone besides them. I know, it's a bit strange. We all spend a lot of time together. Though, some days I sort of just keep to myself. I guess that depends on my mood. What do you prefer? You know what? I like going out with friends. Yeah, I spend a lot of time at the diner with everyone. Always cheers me up with, uh, to being with friends. Either way, hopefully I won't be away for too long. Hopefully things will get back to normal and I can, and we can find Conrad. Let's get going. Gundam awaits! Oh, oops. Shiny. There's a photo on the floor. Whoa. Conrad. What happened? The rest of the house is empty. This picture, I remember the day it was taken. It took Lenny a few tries to get the camera working. But he's all blurred out, even here. You obtained the old photo keepsake. The keepsake is sent to the achievement hall, and you obtain one frog coin. Okay. To find out where he is or happened to him. Has something like this ever happened to someone you know? No explanation, just gone. A ghost. Sorry. Shouldn't be asking stuff like that. Let's get going. There's something in the toilet. You feel weird, but pick it up. You obtain Slick Rick's Delivery. Who hides stuff in toilets? Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty weird. Check, check upstairs. Not much. Get the package. Talk to Harrison. And then we hit, we're gonna boogie on out. Hi, Gus. Well, I have a delivery for you. Oh, Gus. It's not what you think. Really, it's not. It's just been really down lately some reason. Just take these bits and leave this alone. Okay, Shug? You handle the delivery and obtain 20 bits. Alright, I'll see you later then, Norma. Hey, Kapow. We should return this to Slick Rick. Alright, let's go then. wonder if Norma is okay. She sounded a bit on edge just now. We have too much stuff to worry about. Let's get these bits to Slick Rick. Okay, why don't you want to check this out here? Shiny. Whoa! You found the Bitwix achievement! Even in your home, you can still discover new things. Yeah! Take this! You earned it! You obtained one frog coin. Don't take the lessons you learned from home. Don't let the ah, don't let the lessons you learned from home ever leave you. Actually, don't let anything leave you ever! Yeah! Stay creamy! Okay. To suppress the works. Used to work now, just eat your bits. Okay. Off to Slick Rick. Yo, Rick! Heh! <laughs> what you need? Package delivered. Hey, thanks for taking care of that for me. Here's uh, your cut and a little something extra. Slick Rick takes back 15 bits, leaving you with 5 bits, but he also gives you 3 blue gummy berries. Those will come in handy. 
trust me. <laughs> Make sure tell me all about Gundam when you get back. Maybe it's time I head to the big city as well. <laughs> I, I think I'm pretty sure he's a drug dealer at this point. Yeah, drug dealer. Research finished. We need data from everyone in town. Go to every resident and ask them about something strange or particular happening around town. We completed it. Pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. I'm ready. Y'all set, Gus? As ready as I can be. Take this letter. It has my official shield seal. Bring it to the police and tell them the president needs to be informed. You obtained Eileen's letter. I'm trusting you to get this information to Gundon safely. The authorities there need to be aware of the potential threat. Come now, Gus. There is a road to Gundon to the east of Bitrix. Just make sure you stay safe. It's quite a peaceful route, but you never know what could happen. There's also a path through Covewood, but stay away from that forest. Take the path around. Okay, take the path around. I got it. Quack! Huh? This Bebo seems to like you, Gus. I would like to take the big Bebo with you. It's always better to go with a friend, after all. How about it, Bebo? Quack! You two should be going now. Deliver that letter and come home safe, okay? Don't worry, Eileen. We won't be gone for too long. Quack! Alright, let's, uh, let's rock. Let's boogie out! Gus, have a safe journey. Don't come back too too. Good luck out there. Make sure the message gets to Gundam safely. Bring back some good news, yeah? We'll have a hot plate of cold drink break for you when you get home, should. And maybe some, you'll have those bits to pay for it for once, huh? You'll be back one day. Bring back some interesting stories to tell and uh, someone to fix uh, something or other. Well, time to go. Kapow, are you ready? Let's go then. Mm. Well, folks, this is where we're gonna end this video and as always i am mr kapow and you can find me all over social media let's see there's my facebook page which is facebook.com slash michael pal does stuff because well i do a lot of stuff then there's also my twitch youtube and instagram they're all under Mr. Kapow, all one word, M-R-K-A-P-A-O. Oh, you can also follow me on Twitch under M-P Calamity. So until next time, happy 
Gaming.